After the earthquake of 2010, the city of Laogon was virtually destroyed. People were living in the streets, houses were destroyed. And Goals was born out of the idea that after the earthquake, despite everything that they had lost, children were still playing soccer. They would take pieces of their destroyed houses, little literal blocks of rubble, and they would set them up in the street to make little goal posts. So what we do is we try and take that natural love of the game and focus it towards achieving things like literacy, community development, gender equality. We're reducing teen pregnancies. We're teaching kids how to take care of their environment through our community gardening program. Global outreach and love of soccer, or goals for short. Rising from the aftermath of the earthquake, goals takes in four villages around the city of Leocan, bringing football to around 400 children on a daily basis. Here in the village of Bosan, Goals has been working since 2010, and we have our programs which are sports, health, and education. We have two soccer teams of girls, and we have two soccer teams of boys that come here to play soccer every single day. Bringing the game of football to these remote villages has had extraordinary effects. Goals, Goals has done a lot in my life because I did not know how to play football, which was the one thing that I always wanted to do. I never had the chance, but when goals came, I could realize my dream. Not everybody liked football, but when goals came in Bosan, everybody developed a passion for football. Behind me is our community garden, and also just down the street we have our literacy program where Goals is working to give kids who haven't been able to go to school, we're giving them the opportunity to learn to read and write and count, to give them a second chance at life to sort of catch up to their peers. Well, what I do here in the class is to help children write their names and get used to the alphabet. Because in this community, there are a lot of children who don't know how to read and write. It is important because education is life. If the child does not know how to read and write, they will not be able to represent themselves properly in society. One of the things that our coaches and local people always tell us is you can't play without education. And the two go hand in hand. So we think about what kind of skills you need in order to play soccer. Well, you need to be able to communicate with your teammates. You need to be able to resolve conflicts on the field. So these kinds of life skills are something that we're trying to instill in our kids from very young all the way up to our oldest teenage players. Even further away from the city is another village that's reaping the benefits of organized football. We're here in the village of Destra. It's a very rural and isolated village. Most of the people here subsist on fishing and agriculture with very little income. A lot of the people are still living in transitional housing after the earthquake. And we're standing here at the new Goals Community Center, which Goals just finished completion of in 2016. For some, there's the opportunity of a career that would have been unthinkable without this project. Emilio Jean-Paul is a Goals program manager. So, it's had a big impact on my life, as I'm from Distra. I was born here. I feel that my work has had a positive impact, and I'll carry on doing it, not only in Distra, but elsewhere, too. There have been good results on the pitch, too. Esther Cove Joseph and Elizabeth Breville have represented Haiti at youth level. I have been part of Goals since I was eight years old. I have worked hard, and I've got to play for the national team. So I would love girls to keep doing what they are doing. I think that Goals has brought a lot of changes in Distra. It provided housing after the earthquake. We did not have anywhere to sleep and we could not build any shelter, but Goals has provided that for us. It was a dream come true for Goals to have these children in the national team and a dream for the other children who look at Elizabeth and feel proud to have a star amongst them. And hopefully Elizabeth is not the only success story to come from the Goals project.
We're here because people believe in the program. Our coaches, they all come from within the community, and the kids that they're working with are their cousins, nieces, nephews. They really believe that goals will bring a better life for the kids in their communities. Soccer, it's, it's really unique in the world in the, in the power that it has to bring pe people together to create change. And we saw that after the earthquake. We see that every single day here at Goals six years on.